Hey everybody, welcome back to Varcade Games to another live, uncut, unedited, until we... gross pop review. Yes, until we talk about highlights of the week. And the first highlight of the week is softball was wrapped up this week. We have a few clips of your night game. Wasn't that a fun, fun activity? The night game? No, no, no. Well, anyway, check out these clips of the night game and we will be right back. Hey, wasn't that amazing? Isn't that fun? Okay. Kind of fun. All right, now, you're supposed to have a game today, but what, what happened today? Party. Party. There was a party instead, a Halloween party. And um, can I show everybody what, what you were? Sure. All right. Here you go, everybody. Oh, that's yeah. terrible. That's terrible lighting. Hold on, hold on. Let me fix that lighting. Yeah, let's fix that lighting first. Here, hold the... Some of you might be seeing it, but... Yeah. <laughs> I keep dropping these soapy cups. So big. Alright, anyway. Here we go, here we go. Why is the lighting so bad? I don't know. Wait. Oh, I got an idea. Wait, 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 wait. We'll get people to view over. <laughs> well, anyway, we lied about the editing, but that was you. You were BB-8. You were in a blow-up costume. How'd that work out for you? Bad. Very bad, huh? Here's the story. Make it quick. So, when I was at the dance, Dad um had to leave because he just he got home from work, and so I was there, and I was like scaring people, like acted like a balloon because there were so much balloons. And yeah, yeah, that's what happened. And then these boys started pulling on my costume, and and then, um, and then this girl told me to tell the coach because he was there. Mm -hmm. And then what happened? And then I and then my dad was late to pick me up, and then we had to do a long walk. Well, I mean, there was and a lot of traffic. A lot of traffic. You you survived it. You but survived your first dance. Halloween dance. Sorry about the terrible footage on my phone. And I was so sweaty. Ugh. And she was really sweaty. But she was BB-8 for all the Star Wars fans. Hope everyone got a chance to see that. I'm not being BB-8. Alright, anyway, um, before we get to our gross pop, everybody... Everybody been asking, Brian, where do you, where do you get these gross pops at? And, and I, I did get them... At, at the arcade down at Virginia Beach, but you know, when we ran out of gross pop, we had to find another location. What are you doing? Oh, anyway, anyway, so hey, um, here's Phoebe. Um, long story short, we did find another candy store. Here is a quick look at the candy store. We'll be right back after this quick vlog. Hello. Alright. Unicorn toxic. Sweet corn buffalo wings. Ranch. Private piss. Hmm. 
Uh, the Garfield plastic toys and all the other plastic toys that are overly expensive but we still buy them there you can see some gag gifts and air fresheners uh, plenty of taffy Pez who doesn't love Pez that's apparently Jurassic World uh, and in the background there is Donald Trump and there's plenty of bulk candy to choose from I think five dollars you you fill up a box right here you see some hello panda candy and scrolling down the shelf some kinder happy hippo candy I never had it but I did have plenty of kinder eggs and this store has Star Wars and Disney princess related kinder eggs and of course what is a candy store without the gummy candy right now you see some pickle related products toys and what appears to be a few homemade items as well and here we see a rack of novelty socks with funny amusing sayings a Game Boy full of candy looks awesome, but so does that slime. Two hundred and sixty four countries would not have seen this video if I did not edit out the Billy Joel song Uptown Girl that was playing in the store while I was filming. Thank you for watching. Yep, folks, that was Grandpa Joe's candy store. A little, little baby. In Beaver, Pennsylvania, by the way, and uh, the movie Gung Ho was filmed in Beaver, Pennsylvania. But that's a whole other story. If you ever heard of Gung Ho yes. the movie. All right, tonight's gross pop is Unicorn Yak. It's our old gross pop. It's an old gross pop. It's so delicious. Always ask for Avery. It's so disgusting. Not so delicious. Totally gross pop. Raspberry orange cream. Raspberry orange cream. That sounds pretty good. What? There's stuff floating there. There's stuff floating. Yeah. Around. I don't know if they could see. It might be chunky. Let me turn this light back on. I hope this is not chunky. Oh, that okay. looks chunky. Here, here. That looks so chunky. Oh, I'm excited, though. I'm excited. That looks really chunky, but I'm I think it's it better not cream. be chunky. I bet it better not be chunky. If it's chunky pop. I don't know what chunky pop is. It's like, some pop, they like crush berries and they just give it like a lot of flavor they don't crush it oh they put like real fruit that sounds delicious i know but they don't crush it a lot it makes it all chunky all right one final look Ooh, it's, it's really unicorn yak 
That smells so good. Smell it. It smells delicious. I it, know. it smells really good, folks. And I'm sure it's going to taste even better. Ready? Ready. He loves it so much, he's just going to jug it. Oh my gosh, That's that is so delicious. That's like a party in my mouth. That's like, there's fizz. Same spoon for me. The same spoon for me. I'll save you. There, it's this, kids, grown ups, if you could find some unicorn yak at a candy store, pick some up. What do you, what do you say, Peanut? Let's, if it was a million out of one, a million. A million out of one. She gives it a million. Uh, sweet, tart, tangy. Sweet. You heard it right there. Sweet, delicious. Mmm. Well, that wraps up this edition of Gross Pop Review. I, I give this a 10 out of 10. She gives this oh. a million out of 10. Oh, yeah, before we go, um, there was some music in the background. Um, let's see. Uh, meant to be by who? BB Rexa in Florida, Georgia Line. Gotta say this stuff, so copyright. Uptown Girl by Billy Joel, which is a good song. And, of course, Eye of the Tiger by... Survivor, and I think for one split second there was a Willy Wonka clip, the Gene Wilder version. Anyway, thanks for joining us. Have a great week, folks. Pick up some gross pop today. Remember, comment, like, subscribe, and thanks for, thanks for watching. watching. Peace out. Peace out.